It's time for 5-Minute Advice for Authors, brought to you by Twin Flame Studios. Hi, my name is Yetta Stansel, and I'm the author of Shut Up and Sit, Finding Silence, and all the life-changing magic that comes with it. I'm also the founder of Sit with Yetta, which is a coaching and consulting company that helps people integrate their inner spirituality with their outer individuality. Yeah, so the most important thing for readers to learn from my book, Shut Up and Sit, is to go within and find the silence and the stillness that I believe resides in all of us. Shut Up and Sit was a language that I arrived at when I had my first awakening and went in to sit with someone to learn to be silent and still. And I remember she asked me to sit across the room from her for an hour in silence and stillness. And I said, so you just want me to shut up and sit, basically. And she said, you can call it that. So shut up and sit became my language in a modern world of someone seeking mindfulness who is in a chaotic, stressful, really busy life. And so in this book, I found a pathway and I also learned the science, the neuroscience, the behavior change aspects of how silence and stillness could help me pattern interrupt and really start to take control of my life again to learn to live a peaceful and more serene life, but one that was more connected to the truth of who I really am so that when I go out into the world, I can connect to the truth of who others are. So my book is actually a coaching process that teaches individuals, no matter where you are, how to do this so that you can find your own inner peace and sanctuary. My most important advice for authors or for someone that's desiring or aspiring to write a book is I really find it's it's being authentic. And I know that authenticity is a buzzword these days. The authenticity of really believing that your voice matters, who you are, the truth of who you are, your story matters, and that it has wisdom and our wisdom in our life's experiences are what teaches others. When I find myself reading books, I'm not trying to aspire to be like the author. I'm learning and listening from who they are, what their experiences have been. And then that allows me to tap into and wake up something inside of myself. So I think the encouragement that I found by working with this organization was to be myself. The authenticity I was allowed in the process of creating my audiobook was able to come out in all that I did. And I would just encourage authors to believe in yourself, to know that your voice matters, Whatever story is inside of you, whatever purpose you believe that you came here to do, the world needs to hear your voice, your story. And so just remember to be true to who you are in a world that's really busy that tells us to be everything but our authentic selves. I think when we get into the space of being authors, we're really given permission and freedom to be authentically who we are. So my advice would be quiet the fear-driven voices, go within and really listen to what it is the world has to know and hear about who you are and the story that you'd like to share and follow that authenticity. So my favorite part of creating my audiobook with Twin Flame Studio was uh, was actually more than just one thing. I probably have two or three. So I want to share them with you. The first was I was really given permission to ideate and create and bring an idea to the producers, to the the production team. They really asked a lot of questions. They they really wanted to understand what was the vision that I had for my book. Most thought leaders read their own books, and we went through the different avenues and paths of, do I want to read my own book? Do I want to have someone else read my book? Do I want to share the reading with someone else? So I was really given a collaborative space to sit down and really understand my own vision, and then they brought that vision to life for me. And so in that collaboration space, what leads me to my second favorite thing was we went into a narration process. I had a vision that I wanted someone else to read my book. I was just hearing, think about reading Rainbow for adults in the personal development and leadership growth space. And they put it out there. We did over 250 interviews. They narrowed it down. Thank goodness they only brought me five choices back. And out of those top five, I found someone that read my book who absolutely brought to life the vision that I had that was just an idea. And it is literally reading Rainbow for adults. And she reads it with such narration and and variety. So the, the narrative process was so important. And when I found her, I knew instantly when I put my headphones on, she was the one. So working with Twin Flame Studio was absolutely paramount for me to get my vision to come to life. They told me everything about the process, but they really let me be a part of that. So the collaboration, the narration really came together in a manner that I didn't even know was possible. 
Thanks for joining us on 5-Minute Advice for Authors. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe for more and visit us at TwinFlameStudios.com.